Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, it's uh, week three check-in time on the Super Speed Golf Training System. So it has been now three weeks since I began this program, and I've slowly started to see some increases in ball speed, in club speed, and in distance. So I first want to start off today to just explain the numbers where we started from at the beginning of this program and where we were at at the end of week two. So when I first began this session, my max club speed was around about 111.3. I was carrying the ball about 287 with a total going about 319. So very, very efficient for the club speed that I was presenting at the time. After the very first training session, I was able to get my club speed up to about 114.2 miles an hour, and I was able to almost carry the ball 300 yards. So I was very, very close, and I was very happy because I was able to get my ball speed over 170 for the first time ever. So that was very exciting for me to see instant progress. Week two, numbers were fairly similar to the, the first week. So very, very similar numbers. I gained a little bit more club speed, a little bit more distance, very, very slight increases. Week three, I noticed quite the increase. So I picked up another mile an hour more club speed. So my max club speed got to 115.3. And my average club speed was 114.8. So my average club speed and max club speed increased by one mile an hour. So today I got... My goal, hopefully, would be to try and see if I can get to 116. I'm not sure if we're going to get there today, but I have been doing this training session, the, the level one protocol, every couple of days over the last couple of weeks. So no doubt, I do expect a little more increase, but it's always exciting to check in every week to see how everything is going. So I do have goals today. I'd love to try and get to 116 with my club speed. So we'll see if we can get there. So I'm about to go through the level one protocol again. So I'm going to go through the training session, and then we're going to jump in. We're going to hit some drivers to see what increases I may have picked up this week. So I'm really excited. This is my favorite time of the week to see if there's some any increases at all is a bonus for me. So if you have not subscribed to our channel by now, please do so. Make sure you click on that red subscription button down on the bottom right there. We've got plenty more other great content coming your way in the future. I'm excited to go for this training protocol, so let's do it, and then let's take a look at some numbers. So once again, I have the swing speed radar beside me, so I'm about to pay attention to, to some numbers. One thing I actually really noticed, which was really interesting last week, is my left-handed club speed is actually starting to get closer to my right-handed club speed, so I never thought that would have been the case. So maybe one day I'll try and do some left-handed golf swings and actually hit the golf ball. We'll see how it works out. But I've been, it's been exciting to see how my body has started to level out across the board there as well. So I'm going to start off with the light stick. So that's the green stick. First, we're going to start out with just some normal golf swings. I'm going to do three right-handed and three left-handed. Okay, so that one I got to 115 miles an hour, my fastest swing. Let's try left-handed now. All right, so that one, I actually cracked the 100 mile, mile an hour mark. So that last left-handed swing was 103. So very excited to see the my body progress as we go through these sessions here. So next, I'm gonna to switch to the medium stick, three right-handed and three left-handed. The medium stick's the, the blue stick. All right, right at one, 113 was the highest I got to with the blue stick. All right, 100 miles an hour right on the number was the highest left-handed there with the blue stick. 
So, so far I've been pretty consistent with both the light and the medium stick. That was a little faster, that was 115. All right, 113 with the red stick. Come on, 99 miles an hour, we're left-handed with the red stick. So with the training protocol, the next training protocol is the green stick step through. So green, then blue, then red, step through golf swings, both right-handed and left-handed. Okay, 116 again. Whew, that one was good. That last one was 112. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, moving on to the blue stick, the medium stick. One hundred and twenty. I really went after that. That was that was awesome. I got to ninety five with that one. Okay, moving on to the heavy red stick next. One, 116, it's pretty fast. Love to see that with a golf club and a golf ball in front today. That's the goal. All right, 96 miles an hour left-handed with the step through. As I catch my breath here, the final Three swings before I jump to a driver and see if I can get to that 116 mile an hour club speed here today is three absolute max golf swings, normal swing with the light stick to finish off. Let's see what we can get this green stick to today to finish off. See what I got. One hundred and twenty two miles an hour. One hundred and twenty six miles an hour. Really went after that one. Finished off. That was one hundred and twenty eight miles an hour. Now that's not going to be the exact same as what we're going to see with the real driver in my hand, especially when there's a golf ball in front. I wish I could get it that fast, but it's going to be interesting to see if we can crack that 116 mark. Anything all of that would be an added bonus. So let's take a look at some drivers. One thing I will touch on here too, though, is before you do this protocol, make sure you are really, really warmed up. On the Super Speed Golf website, they do have some training methods on there listed, ways to get your body nice and loose there. I have had a few shots earlier before doing this, uh, this program. But make sure you're really, really warmed up. So you want to make sure that you do not hurt yourself. If I had tweaked anything, it's trying to swing at 128 miles an hour. My body, yeah, I would be in some real pain here. So I don't want to tweak anything. I want to make sure my body is in good shape. So let's switch to the driver. And let's see where we can get to. So it's time to see how... I perform with driver in my hand. So as I mentioned, I would love to try and get that to that 116 mark today if we can get there. Full speed over 170. It's a good start. 114.8. And 114.8, that was my average last week.
That might have got there. It did. Wow. Check out those numbers. 116. Shot swing to the swing two right there. Wow. That is the furthest I have ever hit a golf ball. That's incredible. Sorry, I might have been standing in the way. 116 club speed, 173 ball speed, 312 carry going 334. Don't know if I can beat that, but uh, we've got we've got three swings left today. I mean, a well-struck shot, but that one was a little bit slower with the club speed. One fifteen point five. So that's a good one there to finish on. Three ten carry going three thirty four. Wow, some uh, some pretty big distance gains there. Two of two of the six there were really really good shots. So let's take a look numbers really quick. Well, three of the six swings that I just made at the end of the session did outperform my max club speed in week two. Maybe minimal gains, but I did achieve my objective. I did get my max club speed to 116. If we look here, the highest club speed there was 116 miles an hour. And the ball speed got to 173.1 with that. So kind of interesting i didn't quite catch my max ball speed so i've really got to work really hard to make sure that i'm hitting it in the middle of the club face because you'll notice that my efficiency number was maybe not quite as high as last week now we're talking 149 to 1.50 so it's not like it's way off but we'll take a look and see kind of some numbers here with those best couple of shots the best couple of shots that i just hit here both carried over 310 yards. I have never carried the ball over 310 yards. I have not even come close. So 310.2, 312.1. So those are going to be some targets the following week here to try and pick up on there. So really impressive there. Uh, 334.5 was my total distance twice today. So really, really impressive across the board there. You'll notice that my average today was 304.1 going 323. That's also very, very good across the board there as well. Uh, average carrying it over 300 yards. Love it. I love that I got to the 116 mark, even if I did only just get 116.0, but still training up. The max club speed is still training up. What's even more impressive is my max total there. My max total distance went up by six yards. So last week, week two, my max, my max total distance was 328.6. This week, 334.5. Wow, that is quite impressive. And the max carry also went up by six yards. Last week was 306.1. This week, 312.1 there too. So far, I have gone from a max carry of 291 to a max carry of 312. And I've gone from a max total of 319 to a max total of 334. So in the three weeks of this training, I have picked up 15 yards total distance. Quite impressive. So we've still got a long ways to go here. I'm very excited to see how these next few work, weeks work out. I'm going to check in with you guys next week. So stay tuned on my progress to try and pick up more and more club speed, more and more distance, and to hit the ball further. If you love this content, make sure you subscribe to that channel. So stay tuned to my progress with Super Speed Golf.